Well, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be testing the Amazon Fire. So we've side-loaded the Google Play Store on here, and then we've uh, also installed the DJI Go 4 app. So hopefully uh, the wind's not too bad out here. been a lot of rain, but I want to test this out today. So I've got screen recording going, and this is really just going to be a test of... Um, how well the fire works and if it does actually work so as you can see on the screen I've got uh, satellites I've got GPS I've got screen recording going so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and take the copter up and there we go so so far so good so we've launched it we're using the fire tablet just do a quick walk around of it so as you see, I'm walking in front of it, so it's beeping. I am going to start video recording. Got a lot of glare today, so uh, I need to come inside here, make sure I've got... So I've got video recording going, so that's good. So that seems to be working. I seem to be counting up. So uh, as you see here, real nice fit. I'm using it with the 3D printed arms. So. Uh, Let's go ahead. She's a bit windy out here today, so I'm not going to get too crazy with it. And so I'm just going to kind of take it out, take it out up over the baseball diamond again. And just kind of fly it around a little bit. Nothing again too crazy, because again, I'm just really testing out the tablet. And uh, where am I at here? I want to go back this way. So I got a bit of a wind, having a problem. I need to get back in here so I can see the, the tablet. Uh, so I want to do a little bit of yaw to see what the response is. So not too bad. Now I'm using the OTG cable. And so I'm just kind of spinning it around here a little bit. And so I want to get it, move it out the field a little way so I can this way. By the way, I have checked hover. I'm clear. I'm used to flying around. I did check uh, for no tams and everything, so we're good to go out here. And uh, so one of the things I want to do is let's try the responsiveness of the controller. So I've now hit the controller. I'm going to do quick shot. And so far, so good. Um, it's interesting. I've got something in Chinese. So that's sort of interesting. So now it's telling me it wants me to draw something on the screen. So uh, um, I'm trying to see what do I want to draw on the screen here. So let's uh, let's turn it around till we got something. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty windy out here. Probably a little bit too much for this guy. I want to I want to gimbal down. Let's gimbal back up. So let's uh, take it out to this. I think that's third base we're headed to. And so let's uh, go back. Let's hit quick shot. So I'm going to do quick shot and then I'm going to highlight this object. And I'm going to say OK. So I'm now on this object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to circle, and I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to say Go. And it should start circling, which it is. I need to be back in here. I'm getting a lot of glare. Off. So as you can see, it's starting to circle third base. I think that's third base. So I don't know if you can see it out there, so it's making a pretty wide circle. But uh, that's actually pretty cool. It's doing a fairly good job holding it center, uh, but it's responding. Now, the only thing I've seen so far is that I did get some Mandarin in the text. So there might be a little bit with the local settings. All right, so it completed that. So it successfully completed the circle. So quick shot ended. So now the interesting piece, so it must have turned it off uh, of video. So I want to turn the video. Uh, well, while I'm in quick shot, I forgot. I can't turn on the video. That's right. So I want to go back to quick shot. And uh, again, hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. I want to 
going back to whoops it was in quick shot sorry about that and so I'm going to highlight this again and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a spiral and I'm going to say go in my spiral so I want to watch this because it is going to get a little bit so it's going around up there, so it's doing its spiral number. And it's rising as it's doing the spiral, so it's doing pretty good. And so far so good. The spiral circle is getting quite a bit bigger. I'm going to stop the spiral. And uh, let's see, I'm going to fly back towards the baseball diamond so so far so good so everything seems to be responding I do want to I want to turn video back on oh I gotta have to exit quick shot mode sorry about that I keep forgetting I wonder why why that is why they require that so I'm back out of quick shot mode and so I I should be back to whoops there's a little bit of de uh, delay, but responsiveness actually of the fire seems pretty good. Uh, I've got a hawk coming in actually over there. I'm sort of interested to see. He's uh, coming in towards. I want to be careful. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that hawk over there. He's getting pretty close, and he's bigger than my spark. So I want to bring it back around. Let's see. Battery life is doing pretty good. I want to bring it back though. It's kind of windy and I want to be careful with that hawk. So let's uh, let's bring it down. And uh, uh, tell you what, let's uh, we got it at an angle. Let's uh, stop video recording. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back into uh, quick shot mode. And I'm going to draw it around there. That's interesting. So it moved the gimbal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to do a droney. And yes. And I'm going to tap go. And so it should be starting its droney. Yep, it's starting its droney, pulling away. I want to be careful that it doesn't back in that tree. I have it pretty low. And I'm going to stop it. So that worked. So the droney worked. So it, so far, all the functions seem to be working on it. Uh, let's bring it back uh, in closer towards us. And uh, I don't want to take it up too high today. The wind is a little bit too much. I'm afraid uh, as I get up there, it might take it away. We've been having a lot of rain here over the past couple days. But, I, you know, since figuring out this fire thing, I really wanted to give this a shot to see if this would work. And so far, so good. The fire's uh, been working. So basically a $29 tablet here, folks. I bought this on Prime Day. And so got quite the deal on it. So anyways, pretty happy with this so far. And... Uh, let's bring it back over here and uh, I don't know if I got uh, my eyes are having a hard time adjusting between the Sun and whoops I gotta take this back out put this into regular controller mode and my battery's getting down there a little bit um, mode. I just want to make sure this is clear because these, these guys are uh, cutting the grass over here okay so that that's interesting so I clicked into sport mode you should be able to see on the screen with the screen recorder that it's still not into low battery but now it's complaining about low battery being in sport mode so that's rather interesting and you, you can hear the difference so again, the wind is really whipping up, so uh, I think we're going to have some rain coming in. So I'm going to bring this one in, and uh, but, but we, we uh, pretty much have established the fire works as a successful tablet. So uh, 
let's see if I bring my sticks down. That, that's really interesting how it, I switched to this board and it did that, so did not realize it. So let's go. And uh, let's see if I can get bullet down and let's see if I can play land on the pad. Whoa, that wind really kicked up. That wind is really kicking up, folks. Let's bring her down. Sorry about the wind noise. The wind is really kicking up. You can kind of see it here in this little guy. Well, you see it being blown around? That's why I didn't really want to get some altitude out of it today. Well, that was pretty close. That was pretty close. So, uh, and this, and uh, let's see. So we've stopped the video. I think everything's pretty much set. So there you go, folks. So we've actually flown with the Amazon Fire controlling the DJI Go 4 app. No problems whatsoever. So very, very cool. So I give this one a big thumbs up. Again, I'll have the web page below where if you get a spark, you can side load uh, the Google Play Store and then load the uh, DJI Go 4 app. Again, I've got the uh, DJI Go app. I've got the Go 4. I've got Hover. I've got Leechy. And, and so far, all seem to work on here. So I haven't run into a problem yet. And again, you've just seen the flight. So hey, give it a big thumbs up. You know the routine. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking about for lunch. Uh, and hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.